Hey guys, Nathan Latka here today with The Social Tea. Today I want to give you a quick tutorial about how to use custom FBML coding on your Facebook fan page to create a new tab where users who are not fans of your page will land by default. Um, what this will do is create a more interactive environment for your fans. So let's go. So obviously you start off going to Facebook.com. If you don't have a Facebook account, you should probably uh, go to a different tutorial to learn to set up your account. So let's assume everyone has an account. Go ahead and log in. And this will take you to your home page or your welcome screen. Now I want all of you to go up to the search bar up here in the upper right and type static F B M L. That's S T A T I C space F B M L. And then hit enter. This takes you to the application page. This is essentially what we're adding. We're adding an application that lets us put custom code on our fan page. So the next step is right here in the upper left, just under the static FBML's default picture, I want you to click Add to My Page. Again, if you don't have a page already, I suggest you refer to another tutorial to set up your fan page. So let's click this Add to My Page button. Facebook then brings up a scrolling list of all the pages you're admins or creators of. Go ahead and scroll down and pick your page. I'm going to use one of my other businesses called the Social Tea. So I'm going to go ahead and click this button right here, Add to Page. And it adds it to the page. Go ahead and click Close. Again, it doesn't give you, it doesn't say anything. The screen doesn't change very much when it, when you, after you click Add to Page. It just shortens the list. But what you want to do next is hit Close right here. Close the screen. And then go up here and search your fan page or, or just go to your fan page. So this is my fan page that we're going to put this custom code on. I want you to scroll down here and just under the default picture you're going to see a button called edit page. Click that. That brings you to a screen with all the applications you have added to this fan page. Go ahead and scroll down until you find something that says FBML. That's what you want to click. You want to click the edit button just under uh, the FBML application. Now, when you get there, it's going to have something that says a box title, FBML, and an FBML form for you, put, for you to put your custom coding. Now, I know a lot of you probably aren't custom coders, but what you want to do for your box title is say what you want the tab to appear as. So you know um, on your profile page you have tabs that say info, photos, things like that. This is what the tab title is going to be on your fan page. So I'm going to say become a fan now. Now then you go down to the FBML part and you control paste this code. Now this code I'm going to make available in the sidebar of this, of this movie. So look for it, copy and paste it into this field right here. You see several fields here. This right here is the website that it's going to point to. But let me go ahead and show you what it looks like first. Save changes. Now go back to the social t to your fan page, mine's the social T. Click down here at the on the plus button and you'll see whatever the title that you gave it will show up in this additional applications menu bar. Go down and click whatever you named it. For me it was become a fan now. And it shows up right here in the tabs. Now, the custom coding I put on my page includes this image and a nifty little widget that lets new friends invite friends or new fans to invite their own friends all on one spot. So as you can see, that's, this is one very, very good demonstration of how you can grow your fan page quickly. Now, say I want this to be the page that will automatically uh, default um, if someone is coming to the page who's not a fan. In other words, when somebody visits facebook.com backslash the social tea, I want them to land on this page instead of my 
wall, which is here. Well, the way you fix that is you go to your wall, you go down here and click Options, Settings, and then click under view settings you see default view for wall and then right under that you say default landing tab for everyone else and you want to click whatever you named your tab again for me it was become a fan now perfect and then it automatically saves so if I wasn't a fan let's bring up a new window If I wasn't a fan, say I was just going to Facebook.com and I want to log out of my account so it doesn't recognize that I'm already part of the group and I go Facebook.com backslash the social T just to go to my page. Well, see how the landing page is here instead of the wall? That's what we're doing and obviously I don't have friends and stuff because I'm not logged in. But that is essentially how the Facebook FML code works. Now, again, this code will uh, differ depending on what images you want to use for your FBML custom code page and what widgets you might add. Again, for me, I added the Invite Your Friends widget. Refer to the sidebar or the text area associated with this video for more information on the actual code if you're looking to actually copy and paste it. If you need more information, feel free to search The Social Consultant on Facebook. That's my company um, who helps all sorts of people, uh, good coders, bad coders, people who don't even know what a code is, set up this application and it works out every time. So we look forward to helping you and we hope this tutorial helped you out.